All right, guys, I'm going to keep it 100 with you. I don't really think that there needs to be too many hits on the ban list in December. I think, honestly, the game is fine the way it is, um, and Konami could get away with the a very minimalist ban list uh, going forward into 2024. Only because I think it's too early to hit Simple Spoils. I think there isn't really a lot that's like dominating right now besides uh, like Simple Spoils, Terror Elements, and uh, Dragon Link. It, it's way too diverse. It, it's, it's way too diverse to hit a particular thing, I think, and to, for it to kind of be fair, you know? Um, I think like slaps, slap on the wrist hits maybe could be could be justified but ultimately i think nothing needs to be like s neutered right now this the way that they did back in june with uh super heavy um but um i, I just want to go over the hits i think are somewhat re somewhat realistic uh as to what could potentially be hit uh this month uh, on the ban list so uh first off Lubelion and Druid Swarm. I think one more Bestial is going to get hit, and um, Lubelion was the one who got it, you know, hardest in the OCG. And I think with the abundance of Horus now, they might consider the Bestial package to be a little too strong. I think Druid Swarm is is a little too strong sometimes. If it resolves, obviously, it's not going to be in every matchup. And with the, you know, with Fire Kings around the corner, there's going to be even less matchups where Druid Swarm is even like usable but still it's like there's still a lot of times where if Jerusalem re re resolves even if they're banishing their own card to summon it um it's still just I, I i still feel like it gets them a little too much um sometimes if these fist deals resolve um even if they are bricks at times so i think one more could get hit it doesn't have to be banned just limited just like magnum and i'll be perfectly fine with it if they draw it they draw it right um Secondly, tier elements, I think we could bring Kikalos back if all four of these got hit. I think we can leave tier elements alone and bring Kikalos back if all four of these got hit. Um, I personally, like, this is more personal. I personally just don't like these niggas, like, at all. I, I just think these, these really call for some, like, sort of unfun game states where it's like, okay, well... Um, even though it's like I don't always lose just because these cards resolve, it, it, it just makes it uh, all the more harder to like play against tournaments and like milling five randomly. It just, you know, it gives tournaments a little too much steam uh, just because they milled one of these cards. Like, so I think all four of these could go th theoretically um, and you could bring Kalos back. Either that or um, I kind of want to see one of the planets get hit. Um, I think planets getting hit could be an effective hit to tier elements. And, um, I kind of like calm down on, on right self only because cash Dira has had enough hits already, um, with unicorn arise heart diablosis. I think either Manadium or Pearl Arena could get hit. I think I personally, I I'd like to see both of them get hit, but, um, I know that's, that's, you know, it's, it's not going to be. A thing and I know like people saying oh well you're gonna hit Manadium Manadium isn't that great well Manadium's still topping <laughs> Manadium's still good it, it's still a good Calamity dot deck and if they're not gonna touch Calamity because Centurion just came out I think they have to hit the consistency of Manadium bit I know it's it's a little ass backwards not getting rid of the problem card but you know um if if you want to keep this around you're gonna have to trade this that's, that's all I'm saying. It's same same thing. It's like if, if, if you want to keep these statues around, at least limit Pearl Arena so I don't feel like I'm getting cheated just because you shuffle back in Aqua and now I, now I lose my combo and you get to pop a card. Like, come on, you know? Uh, I think Rescue Ace is... I think it is deserving of a slap on the wrist, but I don't think it needs to be outright neutered. I don't think the deck, like, auto wins. It does really well. Don't get me wrong. But it doesn't auto win like it does in like OCG anymore. I think too many people are prepared to face against this deck. And now it's like you really have to know how to play around shit to be successful with this um, archetype. So 
I think realistically you hit either airlifter or uh, emergency to one just to um again kind of like a slap on the wrist n n n hitting these would not kill the deck same thing if you hit hydrant but i i think hydrant's less likely because hydrant's less important but i think they might hit hydrant because it's the simple spoils target um and so that makes it more of a bridge than any other card in the deck but um, airlifter and an emergency are, are what really makes the deck shine. So I think these two are the most likely to get hit out of um, everything. Um, also, if you just want to outright neuter the deck, you ban turbulence. You can't limit it because limiting it would not do anything. Most people only play two anyway, and you can recycle it if if it leaves field. So limiting it would not do any do much. It would be outright banning the card that would really hit the deck, but. I don't think the game's at the point where, where we need to do that yet. Um, and I think Noble Knights as well. You know, people think uh, Noble Knights have gotten a little too strong with the simple spell stuff. I I personally can understand where they're coming from. And I think, like, I think it's only, like, slaps on the wrist that they need to just be more balanced with, like, the rest of the format. My, my personal take is to limit noble arms museum because this card does not have a once per turn on it and if they activate multiple of these per turn it's like they get so much steam they get so much uh free extension if this card actually resolves both effects um even if they're locked into warriors now that we have baron sp little knight and a whole bunch of like you can have an extra deck full of warriors and you that will not affect the fact that you will end on at least like four to five um actual fucking negates you know like even if they're not omni negates even if it's only spell and trap with the charles and you know um only monsters with gear freed it's still like really strong um the the other hit i could see is like aqua dolphin getting banned uh so that stops them playing neil's neil space connector also stops them from playing um from getting hand knowledge i think that's a little too strong but i could see konami like not uh, uh, addressing this because i feel like c you could just imperm the connector you know like you could imperm or ash the connector itself and then they don't get hand knowledge but um if they have any other extender they get they, they make the e-sold anyway and then e-sold kind of just gets to build them you, you know basically custom combo them from there so I can see Aqua Dolphin getting hit um, just to stop them from playing with Connector. Now, if they still want to play Connector, they, they'd have to summon Neos itself because there's no other warrior monster you could summon off Connector. And I do want to say that like banning Aqua Dolphin now also stops any potential hand loop bullshit in the future because um, if you didn't know, uh, Neo Space has a line of contact fusions that can basically hand loop you for three or four depending on um, how their combo starts so I think it's not the worst thing in the world if they want to get rid of um, Aqua Dolphin now to, to potentially stop some bullshit with this in the future because we know heroes always get more support we know heroes are always getting more support and this may be a problem in the future so you know um, which is uh, you know it sounds a little crazy right now because like who the fuck cares about Neo Space Scenes but trust me if, if this shit were to, were to happen, everyone would fucking hate it. So at least get rid of Aqua Dolphin now to make these harder to summon uh, later in the future. Even though we have Instant Contact and Instant Contact can practically do the same thing. You know, at least give them like one less way to do it. You know what I'm saying? So. Um, Unchained, I don't think needs to get too many hits. Um, they might hit like something like Abominations Prison, but I feel like... Uh, shavara here is the best thing to hit i feel like this is the one where it's like if you ask most people what they think should be hit in unchained most people would say red dog um because it is the best unchained extender because it doesn't need to be destroyed by card effect if it's just sent to grave it sets you an unchained spell and trap from deck and that allows you to keep going um a lot better than some other unchained cards also um my personal take is that I just think the deck is too strong if they summon high, uh, Wave King High Caesar 
or wave high king caesar because i feel like uh this card having two negates in the same card is just really really crazy so i think they, they should get rid of one of these not both i think hitting both would be a little too much and would kind of just kill unchained as a competitive uh, deck but if you want to keep shavara just ban caesar and i think if you ban caesar i'm perf i'm perfectly fine with whatever unchained does from there i don't i'm, I'm fine if they have to play live twin or some other uh, sub engine to keep keep the deck alive because this this is just too good personally um shifter featherstorm epidemic virus i'm like okay with these cards existing but i just don't think they should exist you know what i'm saying like i would prefer if they did not exist like these cards existing is not the end of the world uh, for the game of Yu-Gi-Oh, it's because th this is really only like Black Wings and Labyrinth, you know. So if you're not playing one of those two decks, like you can't, like this deck, th this card doesn't really do much. Featherstorm is really only for fl Flanderies because Bird Up isn't really played much right now. So um, just stopping Flanderies from being a little, like make Flanderies a little less degen if you hit this. Um, this also stops like Kashtira from, um, like Shifter, if it resolves and your deck isn't affected by it, it kind of robs games sometimes because they can't, because your opponent can't set up anything, but they're kind of forced to still play if they want to survive. So like by getting rid of Shifter, you kind of like get rid of those stupid ass game states. Um, and Fetterstorm, it's like, I think this card's just straight up unfair. Like Mpen already has an effect to stop monsters from activating in attack position that basically stops all link monsters and also forces you to play a little more defensively um instead of like being outright uh, aggressive which is what flanderies loses to empen already stops what flanderies loses to um and they could already still play like a uh, fossil dino or like a like a water statue or something else in their list to kind of just make up for the fact that they lost barrier statue um, so I just don't think this card should, should exist personally. I just think it, it, it lingers for way too long. It's like, it's in, in ways it's like worse than shifter. So I think this is the one that I think like be, be, between the two of these, I think, I think this is more toxic and this one should, should go. But I understand if Konami doesn't hit these because Flandry isn't doing uh, enough right now. Um, I also think Calamity should be hit but I understand why it won't be hit. Um, I think like Calamity is way too strong of a card, but the decks that make it like Centurion, it's really easy to stop Centurion from playing, from making uh, Crimson and like from making their Synchro during your turn because either you pop Field Spell or you get rid of their monsters before they can Synchro Summon and they only have one chance to synchro summon with the field spell they can't synchro summon multiple times so it's not even like they're like tg's where tg's kind of have multiple monsters that have the quick effect to synchro the, this deck doesn't really have that you know like centurion doesn't really have that like and most people don't play the counter trap either so um most times they're not going to be able to like keep pushing if you stop like one or two things so I think they can they can afford to lose Calamity. Personally, I think Blazar is a better card anyway. Um, in most situations, because if someone can make a board through Calamity, uh, let's say like Labyrinth, um, Labyrinth can get it <laughs> can break Centurion down pretty easily, right? Like whereas compared to if you had like a Blazar, uh, like Labyrinth would not auto win. You know, like you could stop them from setting up, and you could stop the back row. So, yeah. Um, but if Calamity doesn't get hit, I could see them touching Crimson Dragon. I don't think it's going to happen, right? I'm not saying Crimson Dragon needs to get hit. But it, if Konami decides, hey, we don't want to hit Calamity yet, I can see Crimson Dragon sort of getting the boot. Um, Zodiacs, I think you don't need to bring all of these back. You can bring back... Um, either Barrage or Dryden. I think Broadbill would be a little too strong with like Travigate and certain strategies. 
and the fact that Broad Bull's kind of generic. Like, if they made a errata for this card to say two Zodiac monsters, I'd be a lot happier with this card. If they also took out the summoning condition of overlaying it on top of another Zodiac Exceed, I'd be a lot happier with this card. But um, the way it is now, I just think it's just adding any Beast Warrior monster is just way too good. Um, so I think, like, if you bring back Barrage, because, like, what what the fuck is Barrage doing without Dryden? And what is Dryden doing without Barrage? Like, Dryden would be so slow because how are you getting access to your Zodiac monsters? You have one rap here. Like, yeah, you have triple tanky. But, like, where are you getting your uh, Zodiac monsters from, you know? Um, so I just feel like one Dryden wouldn't, you know, be the end of the world. Arise Heart was in the game for the longest amount of time, and Arise Heart is like Dryden on Super Saiyan 3, you know? So, I think it's fine if Dryden were to come back, personally. I think Harpoor would be fine at 1. Maybe you could limit one of the, like, Millers, like like the Mech Knight Gearsu. But, uh... Ultimately, I just... I just don't see Harpoor being that much of an issue if it were to come back to one, um, personally. So I'm kind of okay with Harpoor coming back to one. Um, Invoker, I think it could be interesting if it came back. I don't know, like, I don't think there are too many decks that could, like, really abuse Invoker if it came back. Um, so I just think it would be interesting, but it's definitely not necessary. Like I, I could see it coming back and not doing much, but I don't think it like it has to come off the list, right? Whereas like these two, the these next two, I understand people don't like link ones and like what they do for the game. But like Manadium does everything Super Heavy can do, but better. Like there's nothing Super Heavy can do that Manadium can't do besides summon Regulus. And that's the only advantage. Otherwise, like Manadium is just way better at doing the whole synchro package into Calamity than Super Heavy is, like. And it, it's just way more consistent, too, because you have the triple planet, right? So why the Super Heavy have to get punished? Like, Super Heavy doesn't even have enough starters to even see all their cards in their opening hand. Like, a lot of times, like, you draw duds. Like, you draw a lot of duds in your opening hands, and it's like you can't do anything about it because what are you supposed to do if you draw, like... You know um all your extenders but none of your starters like 90 percent of the time you can't do anything if you don't draw one of your 12 starters so i just think hitting super heavy that early like gamma was the right hit gamma was the right call back in uh june but hitting scarecrow was like like banning it outright was like not correct i think if you limited it it would have been better but ultimately I feel like Super Heavy has already been power crept, even with Revolution Synchron. It, it just feels like there's a new age of speed and power um, in the game right now with simple spoils and all this stuff that like Super Heavy would not be able to keep up with if Scare even if Scarecrow came back to one. Not saying it wouldn't do well, but I'm saying like it's not going to dominate the format like it used to. So, same thing for Miyamu. I just don't think prank kids are. Like, that's scary. Like, I understand Battle Butler is a good card, but, like, we're no longer in the DPE format. Like, what would they do? Make a fucking, um, SP Little Knight? I mean, like, welcome to the club. Everyone, everyone does that, you know? <laughs> so, I don't really see, um, these two decks really, um, dominating the format just because they get their Link, their Link 1 back at one copy. So, I feel like these two can come back. Um, I don't. But Konami is very slow to bring things back to one. I think Miyamu is way more likely. I don't think they're bringing Scarecrow back up to one, but they should. Also, Prosperity. Um, I didn't mention it at first, but uh, Prosperity. I don't think it needs to get hit because I feel like if you Prosperity into something and then you get the card that could have won that wins you the game, like it makes no difference between like if you just draw the card that won you the game. It, it like. I feel like Prosperity is a good consistency card, and I think allowing decks to be more consistent is not a bad thing. Um, 
because the, the the issue with like um cards like this is that like your opponent accessing them every single game is like in a way these cards kind of deserve to be banned but we're kind of just letting them stick around just because it's like well we don't want to kill the deck outright right like in a way like some of these like turbulence deserves to be banned like i'm not even gonna hold you but it, they're not gonna ban it outright so they kind of beat around the bush with it so that's why i think like it's okay to limit cards that are like part of an engine because that way the deck can still play but just not at full power whereas prosperity i feel like it's not part of a particular engine like cash is you know or, or, or rise hearts long gone i don't see this card winning you a game because you got a card off of it that you wouldn't have gotten anyway. Like if you would have drew the card anyway, you would have won the game anyway, right? Like why why hit prosperity when it's really all just a game of chance to begin with, you know? Like I get it though. Like digging your top 6, some people think that's too strong. Like if we were in a format where like maxi was also a card, yeah, I would say prosperity might may need to get uh hit or limited because um, getting the exact, you know, car that you need in when, like, you can beat, I don't know, actually, like, yeah, I think, like, someone resolving Prosperity on their turn and the Maxi during your turn would be a little too good, but ultimately, I just don't think, like, pros like Prosperity in the TCG, I think is fine. I don't think this card needs to get hit, but I think a lot of people are predicting that it's going to get hit, and people are and some people want this card to get hit so i think it might get hit but i don't think it needs to honestly especially with the abundance of car of decks that like draw cards as part of their combo now like horse and like uh rescue ace like we are cutting down copies of this card anyway so you're not really hurting any so you're really only hurting like more rogue strategies and you're you're hurting um more than you're hurting like the actual um meta decks like maybe unchained loses a, a little because they lose prosperity so that would just be a, a hit more to unchained than it is a hit to rescue ace or noble knight or even fire king because fire king will also be playing simple spoils and any simple spoils deck or, or horus deck is not going to be maxing out on prosperity because the the conflict of drawing between getting that card from your top six if you draw a start like if you have your starter you're not going to use prosperity, right? Like if you have your starter and the way into your combo, you're not going to use prosperity over, you know, um, over like fucking over M city. So I just don't think prosperity needs to get hit at the moment. Um, maybe later on, like if, if there's like a deck that comes through and it's just way too consistent and way too strong, like, maybe next year but for right now i just don't think this card needs to get it i also don't i also never want to see maxi come back i know some people have been asking for maxi to come back in tcg even at one i just don't think this card should exist i think the game states that this card creates are just way too toxic and people are like oh well it's fun to play through maxi and it's like maxi is a format warping card like regardless of if it's at one or three it'll warp the format Keeping it, making it at one will just make it more sacky. I think keeping it off the list is actually more skillful uh, because there's more variance in game states. There's more reliance on cards like these that kind of like create kind of somewhere interesting game states to maxi. You know, like playing around cards like Shifter, or playing around cards like Epidemic Virus versus playing around a card like maxi in a format where hand traps are like. A, fucking everywhere a fucking dime a dozen i just don't think like that's a healthy decision um for game making uh for 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 balance um so yeah i also think sp little knight deserves to get hit but clearly it's way too early um and yeah that 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 would be my ban list for right now um Simple Spoils packages, I, I doubt they're going to touch anything related to Simple Spoils. Um, that's why that's why I don't think they're going to touch Hydrogen. That's why I think they're going to go for um, Airlifter or Emergency instead. They might touch Turbulence because 
clearly set four from deck is really strong but more of like a we understand this card is a problem more than it is like a we're gonna solve this thing this this issue so i wouldn't be too hopeful if you're wishing for turbulence to get hit but um yeah i also think a museum hits more likely than dolphin just because i think museum is just more broken um or it just allows a lot more than dolphin does but dolphin just gives you the hand knowledge like it is it may not even discard a card like if they're if, if you're looking at, at, at like a nib or something it may not even discard the card but even giving you the hand knowledge of, of your opponent is like really, really good. So, um, yeah, uh, this has been your boy Nistro. Uh, let me know what you guys think about the December ban list and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.